Hello everyone, welcome to the PSU Acting Instagram. I'm here with senior Katie Nixon, a soon to be alum, and she's about to embark on quite the journey with her show 52 Pickup, which is an original piece that she has done and it's gonna be both in the States and international, so she's quite a star. <laughs> and so here she is, Katie Nixon, and she's gonna talk about it with us today. All right, Katie, so tell us about yourself. I wanna know like, we, well, we know your name. Um, you could like, tell us stuff from like your age and how you started your whole acting mm -hmm. career, um, where it is now, where you want it to be, just stuff like that so we can get to know you. Yeah, well, uh, I'm from Erie, Pennsylvania, and I transferred schools, and it was kind of traumatic for me, and the theater kids really took me in. And so I started doing shows with them, and then we were doing Mousetrap. And I remember, it was like my junior year, I remember sitting backstage, and going, oh my gosh, what, what if I could be an action mom? Oh my god. All right, so what makes this device piece that you have created like different than, I guess, anything that anyone else has seen? One of the things that I was really um, certain about for this piece uh, was that it was not going to be triggering, that we would talk about trauma in a way that is healthy without being aggressive. Caring for the audience. Yeah, yeah. while also being honest and truthful mm -hmm. and raw. Um, and so I'm really, and I think that that we've that we've done that. We have so much like living in us that doesn't that doesn't come out and gets stuck mm -hmm. that we don't talk about that we're afraid to talk about, um, and the power in voicing that and saying this happened and that is a part of who I am and to honor that, <coughs> but I will not let that control me. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's mm -hmm. anything. Um, I haven't seen anything like it. There, with that incorporates the text and the movement and the dance and the, the stand-up comedy sometimes and the, <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the drama of it all. I think it's, uh, it's very unique like that. So you mentioned the whole triggering thing. I know sometimes <laughs> with certain topics it can be so hard yeah. to go about it without triggering the audience. I think those two things for 52 Pickup are hope and humor. Mm -hmm. uh, Hope and humor and the timeline, things happen so quickly on stage and then they're done. Mm -hmm. um, and the timeline is like this and mm -hmm. not like this. Yeah. Um, so you ha there's almost a part of you that has to be like, you have to be like you trying to, to follow it. it. Yeah. yeah, you have to be in it. Um, and once that moment's done, we are on something very different. Um, and I, anytime there is a moment of Ooh, a big, big <laughs> yikes. There is immediately afterwards, or some, or very soon, um, a joke. Which is important. Yeah, I and feel. so many times I've been criticized for, for joking about my own trauma, but hey, like we gotta heal some way. We gotta yeah, heal. Yeah, because we all heal differently. What advice do you have for like the BFA students that are still in the program now? Because yeah. you know, a lot of the time professors are like, you know, create your own stuff, so like, Tell us like how to go about that or like just any like kind of feedback or like I said advice yeah. that you can give towards that. One of the things we're really lucky about in going to Penn State's BFA in acting is that so much of our professors have us devising work. Um, I used to joke that the BFA in acting here was actually a BFA in devised performance. Yes. Uh, yes just yes. because that is a vocabulary that we that we use regularly. And after doing 52 pick up here, I had a lot of people come up to me and say, uh, how, do I, how do I do something like that? How do you mm -hmm. do it? How do you do it? And it really just comes down to you make yourself do it. You put yourself on a schedule. You say, you, you learn how to ask for money for different organizations <laughs> and you learn how to write grants. Um, but it really is just sitting down and doing it and taking mm -hmm. yourself seriously and doing yes. it. Specifically, how is your soul rich through doing this? Because I think that's yeah. so important. I think I was really nervous um, on our first show, and I had like, you know, my entire extended family was there, and like uh, my nine friend, good friends from high school were there. Um, it, like, it was a really great home crowd, and I was so nervous because um, there's always that fear of, you know, when you create something, what if it doesn't do what I want it to do? And I really didn't want it to be a therapy piece. I really didn't want it to be um, triggering. I wanted it to be something that brought people hope. And so afterwards, people would come up to me and tell me their stories about how, how like they saw themselves on stage. And that is just like that's it. You know, that's why we do it. That's why we do it, and we help people. For me, um, in this piece, we're helping people heal. 
and we're hoping um, later, um, once I move to New York and everything, to do a sort of hope tour. So taking the piece into different um, centers for women and places for um, where they talk about domestic violence to bring the show in and work with uh, survivors to help them create their own small theater pieces, and then maybe um, to see my work to make some sort of some sort of healing journey with that. That'd be, oh my gosh. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah, me too. <laughs>